Hey friends, it's Angie from The Road to Simple and I've been putting off decluttering my jewelry for a long time. So I'm gonna get started on that today. So come along with me. So if we've not met before, my name is Angie and I live in Louisiana where my husband and I are working to simplify our belongings and I make videos about decluttering, simplifying, and also calendar planning on this channel. So you might check that out as well. But today I'm in decluttering mode and I have been putting off decluttering my jewelry for a long time. So I'm gonna get started today. I don't think I'm gonna get finished on this video. I think I'm gonna break this into a couple different videos because I've got a lot of years of stuff to go through here and a lot of sentimental items I'm sure I'm gonna run across. I have a standing uh, jewelry cabinet and I hardly ever use it. It's mainly full of things that I've just been keeping but not necessarily wearing. So I'm gonna go through and get all this out. I brought this tray over from my dresser. I keep a lot of the things that I normally wear every day on this tray. This bottle tree is full of earrings. I've got a piece over here that I have necklaces hanging on. I have necklaces hanging on another rack on a different wall. First thing I'm gonna do, I think, is just empty out everything and see what I have. I have a towel on my bed that I'm gonna put everything there and then I can get a good look at what I have, what I might get out and start wearing more again and what I just need to say goodbye to. I think this is gonna to be tough though. Let me get started. Let's see what I have in here. This I don't have anything in. I've got earrings. I've got bracelets, lots of earrings. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. These are silver earrings that need to be polished is why they're in these bags. Jewelry cloths to clean things. I'm holding this camera while I'm doing this, so I apologize if it's not very steady. But I have this Apple Watch band that I haven't worn in years. I have, ooh, I like that, but I haven't worn it in years. I have all these different rings. I think this is pieces of gold that I thought I might sell at some time. Maybe some bad jewelry, broken jewelry. Oh my goodness, this is from when I had a, I used to have an artisan shop and I imported some um, fair trade items. And that's what some of these things are. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm not gonna go through everything right here. I'll pull it out and look at it on the bed. In this drawer. Shout out to Silver Collections, back in my hometown in Illinois. <laughs> Still have my cleaning cloth from her. Some more earrings bracelets, some pins, bracelets, ankle bracelets. These are all necklaces. Oh, and I know this is a sentimental item. I think I've had this since probably I was in grade school. Cute little choker, just different color pearls. So I need to see about putting that back into my rotation of jewelry or doing something else with it because it is sentimental and I want to keep it. Some more things here I'll go through. Let's see what's in this drawer down here. I think this is all Christmas stuff in this drawer. So I have Christmas pins. Ah, Bill's wedding ring. 
I think that's just the box it came in. <laughs> Let's see. Here on the side is room to hang necklaces. And I just never wear these. So I'll go through with these. There's two sides of those. My goodness, if I were to try to guess how many years worth of stuff is in here, it's, oh my goodness. Well, I know I have some things that go back to my high school days <laughs> and I'm in my 60s, so what does that tell you? <laughs> you can tell how much I'm not in this cabinet by the amount of dust that's on here. I never open it up to clean it up. I've really got my work cut out here. <laughs> so wish me lots of luck. I'm gonna need it. All right, look what I'm finding. This was a bracelet that was an elasticized bracelet that I loved. It was one of my favorites for a long time. And I just don't hardly wear bracelets anymore, but look at, I did not even touch this. This is what it looks like. This is just crumbling plastic now. Just brittle, falling apart. Come on now. <laughs> how did I let this get in this shape? That tells you how long this has been in here and it's just disintegrated. How awful is that? Oh, this is the kind of thing you find when you let things go for years and years. So this is all that's left of my bracelet. So now it is headed for the trash. All right, I've got everything out on the bed. I took this rack down off the wall, took some necklaces off of my other standing rack, put everything out here for a starting place. Oh my goodness, it's a little overwhelming. So what I think I'm going to do today is just focus on a couple of things. I think I will declutter my bracelets, pendants, pins. Gosh, remember how we used to wear pins all the time? Lapel pins and stick pins and all that kind of stuff. I don't have any stick pins left. For those of you who are old enough to remember those, those were popular back in the day. But I have a lot of pins and I used to wear pins a lot when I went to work for different holidays and such. And I've got pendants that I used to change up on different necklaces. These are ankle bracelets, which I used to wear a lot when I was younger. Not sure that I will wear them much anymore. Bracelets. Um, some October breast cancer awareness things that I want to keep at least one or two of those. Some costume jewelry rings and a couple rings that are, are nicer rings. A lot of pearls. I love the look of these. I hardly ever wear them, but look closely and see if you can tell. See if I can get where you can see these up close to see what these are. That's rolled paper. And I just think they're beautiful beads. I used to have an artisan shop back in Illinois and I bought some fair trade items from all over the world. And I can't remember if these might have come from Africa, but they're just gorgeous. So I don't know that I can let go of those. Um, I'm going to save my earrings for a separate video. I've just got too many of those to try to go through in a day. So I think I'm going to focus on necklaces, bracelets, and rings today. These are sentimental things I'll need to make some decisions about. Here's some more necklaces. More necklaces. Um, or these are what would hook on earrings. If you remember, we used to wear hoop earrings and you would buy the different ones to put on there. These are just post earrings, I think. These are my good, like diamond earrings, pearl earrings. I'm gonna 
put my must keep things in here in a little bit. I used to wear this all the time. Don't wear it much anymore. These necklaces, I love this stretchy material, the stretchy cord. Again, this goes back to my days of having a shop and I had a gal who made these and brought them in and sold them. And I just love them for a simple necklace, but I might, I don't know. I'll see what I'm gonna do with these. I did really wear this necklace when I first got it. And uh, mainly, lately I've just had it on this rack for decoration. Probably need to let go of that. And this, I just, I love, love, love this. This is something that I have to brag on myself a little bit. I made this and I, you might think it's funky and don't like it, but I need to straighten it up. But I made and sold these back when I had my shop too. And I just think it's a neat way to display your jewelry on a bottle. So I really have a lot of earrings. Most of these I don't wear. Some of them are just nicer pieces and I was afraid to let them go. I know some of them are Avon jewelry, which I think might be collectible. I'm going to wait on doing my earrings in another video because I know it's just, it's just gonna be too much for one day. And I like to tell people to start small and this is not starting small, this is a lot. So I'm going to start small. It just keeps you from getting overwhelmed if you can just focus on a certain area at a time, then you kind of relieve yourself from some of that overwhelm. Right now, it is a Saturday and I have a lunch date with my husband. So I'm going to take a break, which is always a good thing to do when you're doing something like this. Take a break, do something fun, and come back to it later. So I'm going to go pick him up for lunch, and then I will be back. And before I pick my husband up for lunch, I'm going to come and check on my girls. Hey, Missy. How you doing today? This is Missy. Come on out, girls. Say hello to everybody. This is Phoebe in the front, and... Sister Golden Hair in the back. So I've got to check on them before I head out to pick up Bill for lunch. Hey, hey pretty girl. I got some beggars here next door so let me throw them a little bit of corn we live close to a, a little waterway a little bayou so we have ducks come by every now and then so as soon as i come out the back door they start quacking they know where they can get some food lunch time for the ducks too gave me some watermelon rinds to give to the chickies. They love it. Hot summer day. So they're going to enjoy this. I'm going to get back to decluttering. See you later, girls. Okay, I'm back from lunch. Had a great lunch. I'm energized and ready to go. I just brought a bowl from my kitchen cabinet. And I'm going to use this to put things in that I know I can get rid of, let go of, give away, whatever that means just to get it out of, out of my jewelry box. I don't think I'm going to have time to go through all my jewelry today. So I'm going to go ahead and move my earrings out of the way so that I can just concentrate on necklaces, pins, and rings. I encourage you if you have pretty pottery 
that you keep stored away in your cabinets to get those out and use them for jewelry. Switch them out every now and then if you want. This was made by a great friend of mine back in Illinois. So I keep that out on my dresser. So I'm gonna use this for my keep. This is for my let go. The must keep and the easy to let go will be easy enough to do quickly. It's just all the in-between stuff that's a problem. So let me go through my rings here. Don't wear rings a lot. However, I wore this ring on my wedding day. So I do wanna keep that. This is something I got, I think for a Mardi Gras ball. It's just an inexpensive glitzy ring and I don't think it looks all that great anymore. So I'll probably let that go. I used to wear this ring a lot. I don't anymore. I may see if that polishes up. This is something that I need to polish up. I just haven't been keeping it polished, so let me do that. This is a toe ring. Don't think I'll be wearing toe rings for a while. This is a Superman ring. I'm from Metropolis, Illinois, the home of Superman, so I collected Superman things for a lot of years, and I do still have a small collection of Superman things. I probably will put this in my collection for now. Another rhinestone ring. These are inexpensive to buy when you need them for something special. If I need something for a Mardi Gras ball, you can pick up something like this at, at an inexpensive jewelry store. This is very cute, but I don't wear it anymore. I may give this to one of the gals at work that's got young daughters. Now this one is a gold and aquamarine and that's a nice stone so I need to clean that up see about wearing it I'm pretty sure this is sterling this is kind of like when my mom and I went through her closet is she was re rediscovering things that she forgot she had and that's what I'm finding here so part of my journey today is just rediscovering things and it may be that I find some things that I will like to fix up and try to wear again. I'm gonna leave that out and I'm gonna polish it up and see how it looks. This is just a costume jewelry ring. I don't need that. This is another costume jewelry ring. I just don't wear things like that anymore. So I'm gonna put that in my donate pile. I saw this box earlier that said Bill's wedding ring when I was looking in the drawer and I thought, oh, surely that's just the box. But no, it really is his wedding ring <laughs> because of his job. He knows that a ring could be a real hazard when you're working. I got him one of those uh, black kind of rubber rings to wear when he, sucked. When he decided he wasn't gonna wear this, but I don't think he ever wears that one either, but maybe one of these days. He will wear it. These are my wedding rings from my first marriage. I do not need to keep these for any type of sentimental reason. I'm going to also start another pile for any gold that I think maybe I can take to uh, some type of a dealer and sell just because it's gold. You know, this is an empty bag I have right here. So I'm going to put anything that's gold that I think maybe I could sell. I'll put in this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six ankle bracelets. I used to wear this one all the time. I loved it. I don't want to say I'm too old to wear an ankle bracelet, but I don't feel the same way about them as I used to. I think I will let, let that go. I'm going to let this one go. These would also be great to put in my play box for my granddaughter when she's playing dress up or putting things on her dolls. I can tell these are sterling and they just need to be polished up. This one I do like, but whether I really wear it or not, I don't know. So I'm going to try it on. I'm not going to make y'all wait while I try things on. This one I'm going to put in the play box for my granddaughter. I have all these things for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I think I will just keep one nice pin and one bracelet to wear. This is going to a Mardi Gras ball. That is pretty. This one still looks nice. So I think I'm going to keep this one for when I have something elegant to go to. This I wore when I got married. This 
and this. So I do think I want to keep that. Definitely has sentimental value. So I'm gonna keep that. This one is nice too. I just don't seem to wear bracelets anymore. That's really cute, isn't it? Unless I change my mind once I get these out and start looking at them again. Um, I may give this one away. I just find that bracelets get in my way when I work. I bought this for, for something plain to have. And also, I just like to support artists. I just have always liked to support artists. I bought this from a leather artist back in Paducah, Kentucky in the Lower Town Art District. And I do really like that. And it makes me think about trips to Lower Town and visiting all the artists there. I do have a little bit of attachment to that. And this one, I do like to. Part of this exercise for me today is to try wearing some of these things again. And then I will revisit again. I will try wearing some of these things that I like, that for some reason I haven't been wearing, and just see if there's a real reason why I don't wear them, if they're uncomfortable or they get in the way, and then I'll decide what to do. But I think I'll hold on to that. This one is um, probably 18 or 24 karat. I know I don't need these anymore. Costume jewelry, I know it is, that's not gold. We'll let this one go. This one I will put in my, maybe I can sell. I don't need this one. Two pearl bracelets, which I like the larger pearls better. But I think I will keep this one and let this one go. This is my Madeline's Gigi established. It has her birth date on there when I became Gigi. I need to keep that. This is a whole set that I have that my husband gave me one year. And I know this is pretty nice jewelry. I have necklace and earrings and this bracelet that all go together. So I'm going to wait till I come to all those pieces and deal with those together. This is brand new. This would be a nice gift um, for someone. I might take this to the women's shelter or I know someone who deals in costume jewelry and she gave me the idea of taking things to nursing homes and let the residents have some new pieces or have things that they can have to give as gifts. So I will probably do that with these. Sterling silver chain that I'm gonna donate. This is the kind of bracelet that I can wear easily because it's snug, it's stretchy, and it holds to your wrist and doesn't get in the way. So I may put this in my discover again pile because I do like that and I'll show you the necklaces that I have like these. Ooh, that is really pretty. I think I will keep this one. Let's see what I have as far as pins. I have a lot of pendants and this was something I made back in my, well I'm still crafty but it really was a cute idea. This little flag pin is made from safety pins and I would wear that on the 4th of July. That really is kind of cute, isn't it? I'm not sure if I can let go of that. <laughs> My first thought was I'm letting go of that, but I like that. I might keep that. This is a sentimental one. It's a pin that has a picture of my dog that I love. This is Kate. She was such a good dog. I may actually like stick this on a bulletin board or something and display this somewhere. So I'm not gonna let it go, but I'm probably gonna take it out of my box and put it somewhere else where I see it. I don't need this one. I'm gonna let that go. Oh my goodness, what have I got here? I used to work at a newspaper for many, many years. And so this is my Illinois Press Association pin. And that's sentimental to me. I'm gonna keep that. Went to see the Phantom of the Opera several times. Loved the Phantom of the Opera. So that's a pin from that. Don't need this pin with my initial. Gonna keep that one, gonna keep that one. This would be nice to wear on Veterans Day, 4th of July. I used to wear pins like this all the time. Y'all let me know, comment, do you wear pins much anymore? Seem like we used to all wear pins a lot. Kind of like how I used to wear belts and I don't wear belts anymore. <laughs> let me know if you wear pins much. I mean, if you had a, a jacket with a lapel, you had to have a pin on it. That was the style. It looked funny to not have a pin on your lapel. All right, let's see. I'm gonna keep that for fun. I think I like this one better than this one. 
So I'm gonna keep that one. A couple of large pins I used to keep like on my coat. Always wore a pin on my coat. Thought that was a cool one, but I don't need these anymore. Oh my goodness, here we go again. There's another Illinois press pin, but I don't need two of those. Now I'm gonna get into Superman pins, places I've been, pins. Bank I used to work at, I don't need that anymore, but now the Superman pins are collectible. I will keep those. This is from the Quilt Museum in Paducah, Kentucky which is a really cool place to go. Even if you don't like quilts, if you like art, go to the Quilt Museum in Paducah, Kentucky. It's amazing. It's like paintings done in material. I'm not kidding. If you have a chance to go there, go. Let me get that Superman ring. I'm gonna put all my Superman things in one box. The back just broke on it because it's a rubber back that's so old. All right, this is going. Trash. Let me look at pendants that I have that go on necklaces. I don't need this one. This was one that I made. This is a piece of plaster from the old movie theater in my hometown that I grew up going to the movies and they were trying to save it. And so I made some of these pendants and we sold them as a fundraiser. So I do think I want to keep that. This is handmade by an artisan in Macanda, Illinois, that has a really cool shop that we go visit his shop anytime that we're back there. So I need to keep this one. I do like this. I got this in Chinatown in San Francisco in Chinatown. Yeah. So I needed to um, polish that up, see how it looks. This I got in Mexico and I used to wear this all the time. I may polish it up and see how it looks. Yes, I have this one silver choker that I could do several pendants on. I used to wear these a lot. I just don't wear them anymore. But they're put away where I don't see them either. So I'm gonna line these up a little bit and see how they look and see. I wanna continue to keep these. I think I might. Look at this one and tell me if you think I need this one. <laughs> Can you see? see how dark that is. Now, how ridiculous is that? And it'll shine up, I'm sure it's sterling silver, but do not need this. I will keep one, let that go. I still have all this Christmas jewelry. These are things that I used to wear a lot, not anymore. Don't particularly care for that anymore. This pen I do like, I think it's very cute. I'm gonna keep that one. My granddaughter might like that. These were things I wore on my on my coat or in the wintertime, and now I live in the south. Where I don't wear a coat much, so this one I always like because it jingles. It's just cute. I'm keeping that. This candy cane pin was my grandma, so I'm definitely keeping that. Look how yellow Santa is. <laughs> He's very yellow. It tells you how long I've had that. And this is an Avon pin, I remember. I know Avon jewelry is probably collectible still. I, I used to sell Avon in the early 80s, I think. And this is probably from the 80s. But I might check into some of this um, and see if it is collectible still. I'll put this in the things for my granddaughter to play with. I had a green coat that I wore this on. I don't have that green coat any longer. And I do like these. I think I might keep those and then I'll let all of these go. Now this is a cute Christmas pin that was hand painted on a piece of driftwood. I got this at an art show probably in the 80s, maybe the early 90s. It was really cute to wear on my coat. See. It was really cute. I have to have a big garment to wear that on, but I'm gonna keep that. I could actually put a hook on it and use it for a Christmas ornament if I wanted to. This thing used to be packed so full that I could hardly get everything in there and close it. Now I have plenty of room. I got this at the Peabody Hotel in Memphis one time and I thought that was so cute. So I just keep all of my Christmas jewelry in it. You can see how faded. I'm sure that was a dark purple at one time. 
I think that's really a cute box. All right, I've got two boxes here of sentimental things that were my grandmother's jewelry. These were all my dad's mom's jewelry. This is a scarf clip. My Nana collected owls, everything owls. And so that makes me think of her. As she got older, she started giving us things so that she could give them to us while she was still with us. I think that's really neat that she thought about that early so that she could have the joy of giving it to us and see us receiving them rather than people going through things after someone passes away and sometimes there are terrible hurt feelings with people trying to go through things and pick out things. This way she chose things and you know every so often when we go to her house she would give each of her grandkids something. So I love that. I love the fact that she did that. So I'm definitely going to keep these. Okay, these are a couple of other things that were from my other grandmother. And I would wear this sometimes on St. Patrick's Day. And I needed to wear something green so no one would pinch me. So I'm going to keep that. Here's another little bag that I put together as sentimental items. This is a ankle bracelet and a toe ring. And I think a regular ring that I wore as my something borrowed for my wedding to Bill. And this is from items that were owned by my cousin who passed away at age 46 and she was just like my sister. So I definitely wanted to have something from her to wear at my wedding. She was already gone by the time I met Bill. I hated that so bad that she didn't get to meet him. This is a collection of sentimental things that I definitely want to keep. Anything that's handcrafted is going to be first to go in my keep pile but i may end up with even more of that than i need but we'll see so i'm gonna shut the camera off and try to do some decluttering on that and then i'll get back all right what do you think about all these <laughs> doesn't this look nice i just wear them all together just like this these are things that i've had for a very long time some of them for good reasons and some of them not Back in the day, we used to wear these long. Nobody does that anymore, but it doesn't mean I can't do it. But So I need to decide, I think, whether I keep this. I just love the colors. I don't love the length, but I love the colors. So should I keep it? Should I not? I probably should let go of it. We'll see. I'm going to set it down here for a minute. This one is long enough that I can wear it doubled up. You know, wear it a long, long, or wear it doubled up, however I wanted to. I might even, no, I can't do it three times, but, but I really like this at the time, and there, I, when I go through my earrings, I have earrings that match this. It's just really pretty um, costume jewelry, and one of the reasons I, well, the reason I bought this, I was on a pageant committee and went to Miss Teen USA. We had a local girl that was going to represent us for Southern Illinois. And there was a vendor there that sold jewelry for Miss America. And this was the jewelry that line that Miss America wore at different things. And so I just decided I needed some of it too. And it is really pretty. And I do have beautiful earrings that go with it. When my hair was long, I liked wearing long earrings. But now that my hair is short, I don't like wearing long earrings so much. So I've got to decide what to do with those. If you've ever been out west, you probably have something like this. Leave me a comment if you have something like this. If you know where I've been to get something like this. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, but I, I think this was probably in the probably the 80s, late 80s maybe, that I uh, took a trip out to the Grand Canyon and out west and you go to the Four Corners area and places like that and there are Indians set up everywhere selling jewelry. And I really like this and that is where this came from and that's why I've held on to it for so long. And I did used to wear it back um, for several years after that. I did wear it and these kind of things were in style so 
This is something I'm going to have to make a decision on. Now this one, I just going to have to keep this. I, this was like my favorite necklace when I was, I was probably even still in grade school. I may have been in high school, but I love this choker, this pastel bead choker. It was my favorite. I've kept it all these years and I'm going to have to keep this. So maybe now that I've kind of rediscovered it in my jewelry cabinet, I'll get it out and wear it every now and then. Maybe I'll figure out a way to display it or use it on something that I see more often and I will just enjoy seeing it, using it as a decoration somewhere. But what do you think? Do I still look like a teenager in this? <laughs> I know the answer to that, but I really do think I'm gonna have to keep this. I'm trying to get through all my necklaces still and I wanted to show you these. I have a lot of these, but I absolutely love, love, love them. And if you've seen any of my videos, you will probably know that I wear this necklace a lot. It's just a very simple silver flower, but what I love about these necklaces, let me put this down, try not to drop them all, is they're stretchy. You just go around like this, and I just think that it's a really cute, simple look. They can be elegant, they can be casual. I have a couple in navy, a couple in brown, and I wear black more than anything. Um, but I have a, a couple of them in brown. These, I know I probably have more than I need. I know I have more than I need. That's not a question because I don't need any of them, but I love them. But they're just so easy to take care of and just, just cute and simple. That's why I like them. I have a friend back in Illinois that makes these and if she still does, I'll, I'll find out for you. They're just comfy, cute. I really like this brown one too. See how cute and easy that is? So this is what I tend to wear when I wear a necklace. They're lightweight. They're not hot. They're just cute and simple. And if they stretch out, you just get this wet and it kind of shrinks back up and you're good to go. It's almost like those things that we used to make pot holders out of, but they're not quite that. It's just a little stretchy cord. I know I have plenty of these, but this is not something that I'm willing to declutter. So I'm gonna keep all of those. This is an example of a handcrafted art that I really wanna keep. This is pottery. This is actually pottery and it's called horsehair pottery. And so the little veins, dark veins in there are horse hairs that are baked into the, the pottery. And I have a choker necklace. I think both sides of it are pretty. It's tied where you can wear it as a choker like this. You slide these out and you can make it as long as you want. This is something that I'm not gonna part with. I have this from a artists around the St. Louis area that used to make these for my shop back when I had a little artisan shop and I love, love, love it. So that I'm keeping. And one other thing I want to show you just because I love to share sweet stories. And so I'm going to, this is a sterling silver chain. I wear this quite often. And my cousin, I mentioned earlier that I wore her borrowed things in my wedding. She gave me this when I was going through a divorce and it came with a couple of rings. This one says dream and this one says hope. And she gave me these and I wore them a lot. When she passed away very suddenly, very suddenly, it was heart wrenching. I just, I hate to think about it still. 46 years old. The gal that she bought this from remembered that Betty bought it for me. So she mailed me another ring to go on 
my chain and this one says strength and she wrote me the sweetest note and said that she remembered Betty buying me the other chain and rings and that she wanted me to have this to give me strength to get through Betty passing away. Chokes me up now to think about it. But these are the kinds of things, no matter what, this is something that I will be keeping forever. And I love you, Betty. <laughs> these are some necklaces that I'm gonna be keeping for now. These right here. Uh, I may change my mind later. This is my first pass through my jewelry and like I tell you all the time that the first time you do something, you're not gonna necessarily get rid of everything you want to. It's easier the next time around. Some of them I know are keepers for real, but some of them I might end up letting go after a little bit. I kind of even forgot I had this. This is silver on one side, gold on the other side. For that reason, I'm able to get rid of my silver choker and I put some gold ones in the pile over there. These are things that I'm going to let go. I'm going to talk to my family members about these. I have some other nice pieces that I'm gonna check and see if my sisters want them before I let them go. And then all of this is going. And for now, I'm still going to hang on to these pretty paper beads. I just think they're so pretty. I'm gonna hang them in my bedroom where they're able to be seen so they're not hidden away. I can enjoy the pretty colors and if I wanna let them go later, I will. But I'm going to hold my earrings for a different video because this is just gonna get so long. So I will have a part two. I will definitely be thoughtful about the way I let some of these things go. So here's how my jewelry cabinet looks right now. I've got just my bracelets right here. My rings, I cleaned this ring up. It looks real nice. I mentioned this was one that I really liked. I polished it up, it looks nice. I will say there's two that I said I was gonna try to keep and polish up that I tried polishing them up and put them on and I don't really like them that much anymore. So this one I had in another place. I wear this one all the time. I'm down to just these four rings plus the one, the one that I wear all the time. On the side here, I have silver and gold necklaces there. Three on that side, three on this side. For now, I'm going to keep these that I was talking to you about earlier. Down here in the bottom drawer, I have my sentimental things in the back and my Christmas items here. So that's just all rarely used items but keep items then i have my pins here my rhinestone jewelry here bill's wedding ring there i kept two sets of pearls one choker length with a bracelet and one longer pearl and then that's my cleaning cloth now here's where i have all my earrings i need to work on these in my part two video as well as my bottle tree full of earrings that's going to be for my next video these are in there as well i always keep this out on my dresser for the earrings that i wear all the time i tend to be one of those out of sight, out of mind kind of people. So I like to keep things where I can see them. And then that way I think I will wear them more. Okay, let's see here. I kept my pretty paper beads that I just love to look at. Don't wear them much, but I love to look at them. And I will visit these items again when I do my part two. But most of these necklaces right here with the exception of some of these long ones, I know I'm gonna keep, and here's my cute little choker from my childhood. <laughs> Not my childhood, my teenage years. When I was younger, now that I have these hanging out where I can see them, I'm gonna start wearing them. My husband made this for me when I had my shop out of old weathered wood, and I just love it. 
So it started out in my shop and now it's been a part of my bedroom ever since. So I'm gonna keep these right here where I can see them and grab whatever I need. Okay, friends, I'm gonna wrap this up for today. I have enjoyed decluttering, but I am not going to get myself overwhelmed with this and spend my entire day doing this. I want to do some other fun things today. It's good to always just do a little at a time. A little progress is still progress. I think I got a lot done today on my jewelry. So all I have left to do is my earrings and I will do that in part two of my jewelry decluttering. And I will be sure to link that up above here when I get that video done so that you can see that too. Thank you so much for watching and I really invite you to leave comments for me and let me know what you have trouble decluttering and what you find that you can declutter pretty easily. Share your tips because we all learn from each other when we do that. So please leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from and where you are in your decluttering journey. If you found value in this video today, I would very much appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. That really helps me to grow my channel. And of course, I would love it, love it, love it if you would subscribe if you haven't done that yet already. So until next time, I want to remind you to keep it simple. We know those simple pleasures really are the best. Stick with me on this road to simple and we will get there one mile at a time. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.